When we get a quick video about a common misconception about Melisandre, I came across a really big clue about Azura High, and more specifically, Lightbringer. You all know where I stand by now with Azura High, but I got something new, something really big that should have been in the past videos on this topic. But real quick for anyone new here, very high level, here's my stance. Azura High is a misdirect. So you got Stannis, he is Melisandre's red herring. You got Danny, Danny is the Faith of Rulor's red herring. And then Jon Snow, he's the audience's red herring. Or I guess Jamie, Davos, The Night's Watch, I don't know, Hot Pie. Any of them are the audience's red herring too, because we're all freaking out of our minds. <laughs> but the truth is, Rhaegar Targaryen was Azor Ahai. Lyanna is Nisa Nisa. I know, I know, that's old news. But check this out. Here's the line from the show. It's perfect. And the Lord of Light made us male and female. Two parts of a greater whole. In our joining, there's power. So she goes on to say that in joining, there's power. Power to make life, power to make light. Now, when she's saying joining, she's talking about, you know, like hopping on the good foot and doing the bad thing. Um, a stabbing of sorts, the romantic type, making love, making babies. So Rhaegar stabbed Lyanna with his bloody sword. They joined, they became one. They sang the song of ice and fire. And what happened? Just like Mel said in this scene, they made life and they made light. Lightbringer, Jon Snow. Jon Snow is Lightbringer, it's a metaphor. Power to make life, power to make light. But now his fire has gone out. Boy, girl, you are a sword. So yeah, quick video, but this should be in every single video on Azura High. It's a really important line from the show. Power to make light. All right, I couldn't focus enough during the Germany game to work on the Arya vs. Mountain video. I want to do the one right. It's really important to me. But I did bust out a video about a common misconception of Melisandre. That'll be available either before this, after this, or the day after. I don't know. We'll see. But the Arya vs. Mountain video is almost done. I still dig it. It's true. Arya's going to take down the mountain in season 8. Two or three more days for me to finish that tops. And y'all know I'm not good for my word at all. <laughs> Sorry.